Hi kids, this is Mr. Hammond. We're going to go through this worksheet, some important skeletal muscles. We're going to start with the top, which you should have already completed by filling in the blank using the word bank. The first one is muscles help control the blank of your body. Muscles help control the movement. of your body. Next one is tendons connect blank to blank. Tendons connect muscles to bone. Muscles and bones are, are really important. They work together. The bones kind of give us structure and then the muscles help move that structure and together that gives us the ability to move around and work within this world. Next we have muscles can only contract. That means they can only push, or I'm sorry, <laughs> pull, my bad, they can only pull on a bone and not push. Last but not least, muscles work in pairs. Let's talk about this for a moment. Most, if not all, muscles work with another partner. The bicep works with the tricep, the quadricep works with the hamstring, um, you've got the pectorals in the front are working with the lats in the back. So muscle work in pairs. One muscle will pull the arm one way and the other muscle will pull the arm the other way. Perfect example over here. If we take a look at our figure, let me move them into view, is the bicep muscle which is right here, we'll color this in a moment, helps pull the fist towards the shoulder. But then the tricep on the back will then pull the fist out straight and help you straighten your arm. They work together, okay, so most muscles do this. Quadricep right here will help you straighten your leg. The hamstring, which is back here, will help you flex the leg by pulling the heel towards your ear. So again, muscles working together. Let's go ahead and color this in. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, we're going to start with the pectorals, which if you look at your chart, are supposed to be in red. The pectorals are your chest muscles. I always like to outline my muscle first and then color inside it. That way I don't go outside the line. So the pectorals are your chest muscle. Anytime you bring your arms in front of you together, you work your chest muscles, your pectorals. So they help bring your arms in. Uh, and they're right there at the chest. Uh, next we have the deltoids. Deltoids are important because they help you help you lift your arm up. So if you have, let's say, your arms down by your side, and then you lift them up, kind of like you're making a snow angel to raise over your head, that would be all the deltoids. They help your arm lift all the way up. Uh, and they tire out pretty quick. <laughs> Next we have the hamstring. Hamstrings on the back of your leg, we have one over here. And this diagram may be a little tough for some of you to see, but this is his left leg in front and then his right leg in back. And the other hamstring is right over here. Hamstrings are really important for sprinters and runners because they have to uh, move the legs really quickly, and part of that is kicking. And as you bring your heel back and you pull on the ground whenever you're running, that pull comes from your hamstring. So sprinters have to have really strong hamstrings. Next we have the quadricep, which is paired with the hamstring. The quadricep is in the front of the thigh. It helps you straighten your leg. This chart is really important, by the way, because you're going to be using it for one of the labs that we do as a group. And understanding how the muscles work and how they make your legs and arms move is really important as well. So these are paired muscles. Um, we're going to move on to the bicep, I believe. Yeah, bicep, which is in dark blue. If you can't find two blues, then just color really dark with one blue and really light with the other. Because you have to have a dark blue and a light blue. Biceps on the front of the arm helps you basically bend your arm, bring your fist towards your shoulder. And the biceps over here on the other arm, it's kind of hard to see because of the angle. Alright, now paired with the bicep, we have the tricep. The tricep um, straightens your arm, as the chart says. We're going to do that in pink. If you've ever had to do a dip in gym class, that is the tricep. Alright, great. 
The next one we did is the gastronemius for you ballet uh, dancers or you basketball players. Gastronemius is really important. I've already colored that. The whole point behind the gastronemius is it helps you straighten your foot. So if you need a really high vertical or you have to walk on your toes for a long period of time, that's going to be a really important muscle to develop. All right, the next one we're going to do is the abdominals. They're right here in the middle of your body. They're really important because they help keep this whole area stable. When you contract your abdominals, they help your body curl like when you do a sit-up. Oftentimes people forget to work them out and when the abdominals get too weak, people can experience back pain. Uh, people are more likely uh, to get injured in sports. So the abdominals are extremely important, uh, especially for you gymnasts out there. Your back tuck, it depends on that abdominal. Okay, so we've almost got everything done. We've got one more to do and it's the one that makes all the kids laugh. It's the gluteus maximus. Okay, the gluteus maximus is basically your bum muscle. It is the booty muscle. Not only is it good to protect you when you fall on ice and land on your ear, it also helps your leg, your entire leg, flex back. Like when you're walking upstairs, um, once you start to reach up too high with your leg to like climb up something, it engages your gluteus maximus and that helps pull your whole body up there. So if you were to take your chair out, and just take a step up onto your chair, your gluteus maximus would help your, your hamstring and your quadricep perform that action. Um, so it's a very important muscle to have and a very strong muscle at that. So these are all the muscles that we're going to expect you to know for your body. Uh, of course there are other muscles around here. You've got obliques, you've got some forearm muscles. Um, so there are other muscles, but these are the main ones that most people need to know. Now, for the lab, you're going to need to make sure that you have all the colors correct and that you look at all the actions that these muscles perform and kind of have an idea of how they move your body. All right, that's it. Why don't you go ahead and finish up this lab and then send it in for submission. Good luck, guys.